Hello Virgo and welcome back to the channel or if it's your first time welcome to the channel. So let's see what's coming up for Virgo this month. It looks like the first um, three cards are all coins cards and coins cards usually have to do with um, money or our physical um, surroundings, our environment, our lifestyle, anything to do with the physical world. So that's featured for you. Um, this is the farmer card. This is seven of coins. And this card is usually a card about patience, um, stepping back to reconsider things, reflect upon things. So this might be a good time to reflect upon last year and what benefited you and what did not. Um, because the seven of coins is all about reaping a harvest. And often, um, this card is about waiting until the harvest is ripe. And also considering if what seeds you're planting are reaping the harvest that you want. So when this card show says to me that you may want to take some time out and reflect on where are your efforts going? Are they reaping um, the benefits that you would like to see happen? And if not, then it's a chance to, say, plant new fruit or um, plant new seeds that will reap you know, the harvest that you want to sow. So it's a time of reflection, reconsidering, and it's a time of patience. So if there's something that you're eager about bringing into your life, um, you may just have to wait until the um, sort of grapes sweeten on the vine, as it were. Because if you harvest something too soon, just like as in nature, it's sour. You have to wait for it to sweeten. And when the time is right, um, you actually get the result that you want. So then this, uh, Five of Coins, is generally a card of um, loss. Five of Coins shows someone whose head is bandaged and he's being comforted by this sister or this nun. And in the background, we see that there's this spiritual uh, building behind them. There's stained glass and it's lit from within. And this card um, often is a card of choice of focus. So the phrase being lit from within is a good phrase for this card because if we are disconnected from the spiritual world, we can often feel left out in the cold and, um, you know, feel like we're cut off from the rest of society, that we're victims, that we um, don't, if you focus just on the material world, um, it can be very lonely and in some ways it makes you disconnected. So, um, with this in the, so this card can be really a choice of focus. Like, are you just focused on what the material world has to offer you, or are you connected in a spiritual way, connecting with the comfort that is available to you? Or do you feel like a beggar and a victim? Um, when this card is in the reverse position, it's saying that you may be a little bit too focused on the material world. Try to see... Try to connect to your spirituality, especially if you're feeling cut off from others or feeling like you're being left out in the cold in any way. Realize that that spiritual world is all always available to you, especially if it's in regards to any sort of financial loss. You may just have to be patient, even if you're feeling a little um, like a beggar or destitute or you don't have enough to make ends meet right now. Know that the world takes care of you. When you connect in the spiritual, when you feel rich in the spiritual world, that's what manifests uh, riches in the physical world as well. So take that to heart when, when you see this card come up. Um, there is some sort of money juggling that I'm seeing going on for you. This card of t is two of coins and the high side of this card is flexibility and fun and feeling like you have a lot of ability to juggle many things at once. It can also be um, joint finances or contracts or negotiations. When it's in this reverse position like this, it can sometimes feel like you're having too much to juggle at once. Um, that you have too many balls in the air, that it's hard to manage, um, feeling a little off balance or wobbly in the rider weight this this person standing on one foot. And sometimes it can mean that you just have enough to make ends meet, that you may be borrowing money from Peter to pay Paul. So it means like just having enough to stretch your dollar. Um, again, with these cards, remember that sometimes it just takes patience and endurance for your um, the money that you have planted 
to come to harvest. In other words, if you've been working away diligently at something like a farmer does, sometimes it takes a while for those plants to grow. So know that in time you're going to have a full harvest, if that's been the case. Or review what it is that, that you need to do to bring that money to you, to bring the harvest that you want to you. Um, also remember that, again, the high side of this card is flexibility and fun. So even if you're having a hard time making ends meet, try to adopt a feeling of watch what I can do with what I've got. Um, that's the high side of this card. So, and being able to handle changing circumstances and adjust to ever changing tides. You know, we see this boat over here, and in the rider weight, the tides are going up and down. So, flexibility is a good is a good um, hallmark for that card. Another um, thing at the beginning of the month that is showing up for you is Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a card um, depicting a knight who is willing to go into battle. Swords represent the mental element, and so this is someone who is idealistic, who is willing to take up a cause and fight for it. So if there's a way in which you want to pursue something or fight for a cause, this is a good time to do it. Knight of Swords is showing up for you. It can also be someone who comes in to the rescue. Um, Knight of Swords is good at defending the truth. He's willing to defend his own truth, and he's willing to go in and stand up for what is true. So that's coming at the beginning part of the month for you. This is also, this can be an, an air sign, um, because swords represent air. This could be Aquarius, or Gemini, or Libra, um, and usually knights depict um, males who are um, not in the older range, but not exactly in the younger range, like basically an adult male. Um, so that could be someone who's showing up for you in the first part of the month, um, especially if they're an air sign. In the middle part of the month, you have some focus on relationships um, here with the lover's card, but it looks like there might be some sort of illusion going on, both with the moon and the seven of cups. Time will change that, though. Um, lovers in the reverse position, first of all, lovers' energy is present, and so that may be a focus for you in the middle of the month, Virgo. Um, because it's in the reverse position, it's saying to me that there may be something about your current relationship or your current relationship status that is not satisfying to you or that is in some sort of doubt or fear or in shadow. Um, there's something about it that needs to be corrected. And whether that's that's feeling unsatisfied with the current relationship that you're in or, or finding some sort of struggles there, or if you are not in a relationship and you want to be, that could be your dissatisfaction with that as well. But there's something in the lover's realm that needs to be corrected or righted. And what I'm seeing that is attached to is moon energy in reverse. That's the low side of the moon. Moon can often represent deception or falsity because moon does not actually give off light of its own. It's a reflection of the sun's light. And so it's kind of appearing as something that it's not. Um, when I see moon in reverse, I want to say that something you may be either um, seeing something as something that it's not, especially with this Seven of Cups energy, um, that could be the case, or that you're being deceived. So it's either your projection onto it, like the sun's projection of its light onto the moon, and therefore it appears as something that it's not, or um, you could just be having wishful thinking. The um, Seven of Cups is temptation, and it's wishful thinking, it's castles in the air, it's got a lot of this Neptunian energy because it has this Neptune rule um, of the fog and, you know, not seeing things clearly for what they are. And Seven of Cups represents choices, temptations, desires, sometimes seeing things through rose-colored glasses. So with these two cards appearing, definitely one of the focuses that I'm getting on is is illusion. So be careful to look at things carefully. Um, with this fog in this card, I always say look at what the choices are and make sure that it is what you want because you don't want to be looking at things through rose-colored glasses and then get disappointed by whatever your choice was. In the same way, 
Um, look through any illusion that this moon might be presenting. You don't want to be projecting your thoughts onto something and then have it end up being something other than it is. That's the sense that I get with this lover's card in reverse, is that you may be having dreams and fantasies that are an illusion, either about the existing relationship or the way you want things to be um, in regards to lovers. Or your approach to lovers. But things are changing. Um, real, you know, your luck is changing. And, and times are changing. The Wheel of Fortune depicts the seasons changing. It's the wheel of time. It's the hand of fate here that changes the wheel of time. And what was up will now be down. And what was down will now be up. And, and seasons change. Tables turn. Tides change. This is the wheel of time changing. So things, there's change ahead for you, in the, especially featured in the middle of the month. And potentially as you get clear about any illusions that you may have been buying into. Um, but things are, change is coming for you, Virgo. Um, then towards the end of the month, again, themes of patience and especially related to um, lovers. Lovers is surrounded by two cards that, that relate to patience. Far the farmer card as well as the strength card. This is a card about patience and endurance. This wasn't, this one isn't so much about endurance, but this is about patience and reflection and waiting for things to ripen. This is a card of, um, patience and endurance, but in terms of strength and softness. This card strength is one of the major arcana cards, and she is able to tame the lion not through dominance and control and force, but through endurance and fortitude and softness and patience, she actually works with the lion and softly opens its jaws. So I'm going to say that there may be something regarding to patience and, and tapping into your own inner resolve, especially related to the lover situation. With the money part of it, you may just need to wait. With the lover's part of it, there's something that you need to call upon your inner strength that you're having a hard time doing. And it is, and it is in some ways just sort of like working with what is in a gentle, non-forceful way. And that may provide you with surprising results. That may tap you into your inner strength that you didn't know was there. And you may see this correct. Um, you do have success favored. Six of Wands is success, as you can see by this um, person, you know, riding into town with a, a plumed cap and on a white horse, you know, with this victory wreath of laurels. Um, so success is coming your way towards the end of the month. Um, just be careful when this card shows up that you don't get too high on your horse. But this is success and victory, and this is also... Um, recognition and status. So if you've been working hard, you may get some recognition, status, accolades, promotion. All those things go along with this card. Um, then also you've got the devil card. A lot of stuff about illusion here. Um, the devil card can mean it go a couple different ways. It can mean being enslaved to something. It can also mean believing in things that are not true. Believing in false um false things or having false beliefs. With this card, Devil, and Seven of Cups in line with this Two of Coins, you know, be careful that you're not believe. I'm saying you might not believe in your worth because Two of Coins is um, joint fun finances, contracts, negotiation, um, and with this in reverse, it's and these things featured here, you may not be seeing things clearly or believing what is true. You might not be negotiating for your own worth enough, you know, coming at things as a beggar. Um, be careful of that. Be careful if, if that's the case for you. I'm just seeing illusion here and false beliefs here, and especially in line with money, negotiations, and contracts. Be careful that you ask for your own... Um, you know, value in something and don't become enslaved because you believe in this figure here that's in the foreground. Be sure to see past those lies to the illuminating light that's actually in the background. That's where the truth is. Devil likes to step in front of the truth and say, I am the truth, but he's not. Um, the truth actually lies behind him and it's actually the illumination 
of what is real, it's actually the opposite of what he is. In the same way that red is opposite of green, it's it's what's behind him that is true. So look, and the same thing here, look past the clouds, these Neptunian fog things. Look things closely in the eye, especially related to your worth negotiations, joint finances. This could be even like salary negotiations. You have these feathers in your cap here. Don't don't hold it in suppression. Don't hold it in shadow. Um, be sure to honor that because you do have this recognition and success and accolades. It's going to be your beliefs that may hold you back. And um, your last card here is King of Swords in reverse. So again, fall. This is it's really interesting. This is whatever is not true, and this is whatever is not true, too. In the upright position, King of Swords is someone who defends the truth, much like this Knight of Swords. King of Swords is just at the mastery level of that. He speaks the truth, and he... Um, you know, he makes he makes verdicts based on the truth, and he considers things thoughtfully and carefully and rationally and makes good decisions. Um, this also can be an air sign, a person in a position of authority. So that could be Gemini or Aquarius or Libra, um, especially a man or someone in position of authority. Excuse me, but because they're in the reverse position, I'm seeing it as they are not paying attention to the truth, or they are out of sync with the truth. There is falsehood here in some way or another. It's interesting to me that I'm seeing King of Swords and Knight of Swords looking away. Is there a way, Virgo, that you are looking away from the truth? A lot of illusion, a lot of, you know, things about the truth that are looking away. So I'm just going to feature that for you. Be careful that you look at things closely. There's five cards here. Um that are kind of pointing to that. So be careful that you don't believe things blindly. Don't trust those who may pretend to come at you and say, I'm the truth, follow me, I'm the way, I'll I'll bring you riches, I'll, I'll be seductive. Um, you know, if there's a person in authority who's not seeing things clearly, be willing to be your own knight of swords and be willing to defend the truth. I, I get the sense that there's something that you need to take a closer look at. Even Seven of Cups is telling me that. Don't be blinded by temptation or illusion or how you want things to be. Look under the surface. Look at how things really are. Maybe even write things down. Sometimes that can bring us closer to the truth. And learn to develop your own patience and endurance. That's really going to serve you, Virgo. That is my reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to like, share, or subscribe. I want to thank you for watching Yours in the Stars.